how cute is this setup? As you know, I take my lunch break around three o'clock. I've made arrangements at work uh, to allow me to pick up the cook kids from school. So once I've picked up the kids, I'm gonna go back home. Ali is fasting, so he's not gonna have his usual snack. But I'm gonna give Lena something very light because as soon as I finish work, we're gonna head over to a Ramadan family dinner. I've picked up the kids from school and I've finally finished work. I logged off and I'm just getting ready to head out. I was, oh, there goes my pin. I wasn't sure which abaya to wear, to be honest. Um, I was thinking about wearing one of the khimar sets again. But then, there it goes again. Oh my god, how many times am I going to make the same mistake? But, so I put the khimar set back because I think I'm feeling abaya today. I received this beautiful abaya from Closet by Choice. I will tag them below. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm just feeling my abaya today. And this is how I'm gonna do my um, hijab. You're looking great. Do you wanna stand there and show us your fit? I am loving this. Oh, you're not wearing your shoes properly. Yeah. No, you're not. You're cheating. Who said that? I know you're cheating. I'm not cheating. Huh? I'm not cheating. Sit back. I mean, go back a little bit. Beautiful. I got this from Mecca for Ali. Sorry, from uh, Medina. You've got stain there. Yeah, I was getting my white shoes. We got this from. I got this from Medina for Ali. Ali's in uh, Ramadan vibes too, isn't it, Ali? Mm? Proper mm -hmm. Ramadan vibes. Are you hungry? Because the Ramadan vibes in my stomach. The Ramadan vibes in your stomach? <laughs> Why are you opening the fridge for? Come on, let's go. You're going to wear them shoes? Yeah. Beautiful. Let us see. Come, let us see. Show us your beautiful shoes. Sparkle, sparkle. Come on then, let us see. Let's see. Let's focus the camera. Oh, wow, Lena, bring it closer. Mmm, gorgeous. Hold it, hold it. Yeah. Beautiful. Is that what you're going to wear? Go on then. Right, let's go. Show me. Number what size did you buy this in? Play jump. Sassy girl. Come on, let's go. It's Ramadan day nine. And slowly, slowly, it's hitting me. I'm starting to feel the hunger more day by day. Whenever you feel the hunger, obviously that's the whole purpose of fasting and the month of Ramadan. Uh, you should be saying Alhamdulillah because Allah has given us so many opportunities for us to wipe our sins. And Allah has given us so many opportunities to earn good deeds. If you keep thinking positively and if you always remind yourself why we do the things we do in Islam, you'll be much stronger, you'll keep going and it just makes the whole process easier. And so we have dolma. Don't know what this is, looks like tajin, but yeah, super yummy. And we have fish in the oven. <laughs> Have you had a good Ramadan so far? Why, why? Why are you doing that for? Are you ready to get married now? Oh. Today is a big day. Why? Tell us. Uh, you got your first car? 
Got my car today. Congratulations! On day 10, my body is starting to really get exhausted. The thing with me is, it only gets harder by the day. Not sure if that's because of my iron deficiency. We have to stay positive and we have to remind ourselves every day why we're fasting and that's what keeps us going. It makes you appreciate all the small things you have in life. I need to hurry up the kids are late for school. I'm slowly, slowly struggling to wake up for Swahab. It all gets so tiring, but we've got to keep going. We are strong mamas. Good morning, Lena. You're gonna vomit? <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Was that a real cough? Come on, let's get changed. I don't know why, I feel like black hijabs don't suit me. You want your hair just down? Turn around. Um, also, you know what they have? They have like the t shirt. This mean one. She doesn't like anyone. That's a lie, bro. And she goes, Move down! Is that how she screams? The, can the canteen teacher? Yeah. Does it scare you guys when she no. shouts? No, like we that? think she. We, we kind of love when she shouts because it sounds no, funny. Too. Yes! <laughs> Now, right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going to be late. Are you doing your physio exercises? Not a lot. But you have football, so make sure you do it, please. Okay, bye, I love you. Ready to go to school now? It's raining. Yesterday was so sunny and now today it's raining. Super gloomy and super gloomy and wet outside. But here we are. We made it. We're not late for school. Right, so the kids are in school and I have to go work. I'm going to go home and log on.
since for a bed. However, because Qabil was miserly, he did not give him. Qabil realized that his sacrifice was not accepted. Instead of seeking forgiveness for his wrongdoing, 
He became very angry. Friday the 12th day of Ramadan we are going to our usual family Jum'ah meal it's our family tradition I've made Turkish lentil soup and biryani which I'm going to take with me to my mum's house this is the Turkish soup it's called Ezogelin basically it's lentil soup with carrots and uh, tomato puree and dried mint it's so yummy we're going to drizzle some lemon on top of this once we're ready to eat it sorry the pan looks a bit dirty my biryani which i made in the rice cooker i love this rice cooker because it steams the rice and also it's going to be much easier to transfer this to my mom's house together with the lentil soup which i made in the electric pan as well and yeah so i'm going to transfer them just like that i'm going to pop them in the car i'm just really hoping that that does not spill i'm gonna hold it with my feet Lena can't live without that blanket. <laughs> We're gonna stay over. We're most likely going to sleep over at my mom's house, so Lena has brought her favorite blanket with her. Stop! What's that in your hand? Oh, Lena's not fasting. <laughs> Oh, Lena, you're not fasting. Don't eat in front of us. <laughs> We're all hungry. What's he laughing at? Ten daughters. And it's a birthday. That's what they do. Mm. Look at that. What are they doing? Surprise? Yeah. Oh. Mama, I got something for your viewers. <laughs> My toy wants to give something to your viewers. What? Oh, so cute. Oh, they have made what? brownies. Brownies, wow. yummy. You know what I said to Auntie Ella? Merry Christmas. Um, I mean, happy birthday. Is it edible? Is it what? Nothing from Korea. Unless you sit in the door and I'll sit on the side of the door. Because it's fake plastic. Maybe it's Catch me lacking, fam. Was an actor, the other one. Wow, is the best. I want to try to try to try to try to try to Ooh, he's had his heart broken. <laughs> yeah. What's in here? An uh, apricot, dried fruits and nuts. So this is prune. This is um, apricot. Then we have just nuts here. Pineapple, melon, colita, 
This looks like bird food. Seed and nut cluster. I'm not a big fan of baklava. But here we have that as well for dessert. I think this one is flipped upside down. It doesn't look right yet. That's how it's meant to be. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of baklava. I think it's just far too sweet.